Hi, today's problem is in humans curly hair that is capital C is dominant over the straight hair that is small c. A woman who has a straight hair marries a man with curly hair, their first child has straight hair. And here are the two questions. If you need a time to solve this problem, you may stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, because here we have two alleles, one would be dominant capital C, another one is recessive and small c, uh, so we have capital C and small c alleles. These two alleles can produce three different genotypes. One would be capital C, capital C, another one would be capital C and small c, and the third one would be small c, small c. So three combinations. But these two combinations would produce curly hair. So curly. And this genotype here would produce uh, one phenotype that uh, stands for the straight hair. So straight. So now we can solve this problem. We told that uh, uh, male has curly hair and female has straight hair. And as you see, uh, we know the genotype of the female because only one genotype can produce this phenotype. So uh, we know that female, and here is a sign for female, uh, would be small c small c genotype, but male can belong to this two genotypes. So let's consider each genotype. Uh, for example, uh, let the male be capital C, capital C genotype, and here is a sign for the male. So if we build a Punnett square, we can predict of the outcome of such a cross, and as you see, here we have capital C, small c, capital C, small c, capital C, small c, and capital C, small c. So as you see, 100% of the progeny would have uh, curly hair, because this genotype capital C, small c, uh, produce curly hair. So let's now consider a uh, different cross. Once again, female can be only small c, small c, and male, this time we take capital C and small c. So now, let's see what kind of progeny they can produce. So here we would have capital C, small c, and here we would have capital C, small c, and small c, small c here, small c, small c here. So now we can answer the question, uh, what's the genotype of the man? So the genotype of the man uh, is capital C, small c, just what we have here. And so this is the answer, capital C, small c. And question B, what is the chance that this couple having a child with a straight hair. So, as you see, a straight hair, uh, we have two out of four. So, or we also can say one half or 50%. All three is the same. So, this is going to be uh, answer for the straight hair, 50%. And uh, as you see, another 50% would produce curly hair. And this is going to be an answer for the second question. So 50% here also. And once again, uh, we ignore this first possibility because, as you see, 100% of the progeny 
would produce curly hair and in our problem we are told that uh, the first child of the couple produce straight hair and this is only possible when we cross homozygous recessive female with uh, heterozygous male whose uh, genotype going to be capital C and small c. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. See you in the next video. Goodbye.